What's going on everybody? Welcome back to JJD TV. I'm your host Josh and today we are bringing another little debate episode for you. I really enjoyed the uh, comments we got on the best starting 11. A lot of debate. I love hearing that. So I wanted to up it a little bit and talk about something that Borussia Dortmund is, is really good at. And that is signing players. They have such fantastic record of signing players and having them do super successful for us and then even selling them on and making a good amount of money. So I came up with a list of five players who Borussia Dortmund has signed in the 2010s. And you may be wondering why why the 2010s? Why not why not way back in the 70s? Well, I wasn't born then, so I have no idea what those players were like. And I don't want to just pretend that I know exactly how Thomas Rzyski did way back in the early 2000s when I wasn't watching soccer at all. So I want to give you guys an honest opinion because I started watching Dorman play around the 2010s and I have seen these players come in. I've seen what they've done to the team and I've seen them move on. And this is totally my opinion. So I'm hoping some of you guys won't agree with me and will tell you, tell me who you think the top five would be. But I'm come up with the top five best transfers of the 2010s based on four criteria. And the criteria is one, what we paid for them, two, how they performed for us, three, what did they win, and then four, what did we sell them for? So using those four pieces of criteria, the list I came up with starts with Ilkay Gundogan. And we signed Gundogan for 5.5 million back from in Nuremberg, and he obviously was tremendously successful with Dortmund. Won the league, won the cup, made it to the Champions League final, and then we obviously sold him on for 27 million to City. So if you look at that, he ticked all the boxes for me. He was an electric player. He had such a passion when he, when he played for us. It was very sad seeing him leave. And he was actually linked back with, with, with Borussia Dortmund a few years ago, which would have been nice. And I still have a sneaky suspicion he may one day return. But I think he brought so much to that team. And he, and he gave us such a fantastic few years when he was with us. And he just a great signing all around. Taking a look who's fourth on my list is Mr. Robert Lewandowski. And I know when you score 103 goals, 187 games, you maybe should be higher. But I mean, we, we paid 4.5 million for him. And then he obviously did sensational with the goal contributions for us. And he won almost everything there was to win with us. The cup, league, Champions League final loss. I mean, fantastic run. He was just fantastic. But the reason I don't want to put him any higher on my list is because we lost him for free to our arch rivals where he went and blew out the goal scoring charts, won league after league, a lot of cups, as well as now a Champions League. So I just can't justify putting him up any higher. He was obviously a fantastic addition to just losing him for free stings, losing him to Bayern Burns. And that's what I'm gonna, I mean, he did so much for us and obviously brought some, some titles home. So he deserves his place on the list, but I'm not putting him any higher. And number three might be a bit of a controversial one, but hear me out, Mr. Jane Sancho. And the reason Sancho is on this list is because we scouted this young kid and paid nine million for him. He has been absolutely sensational. I know we didn't win the league uh, two seasons ago, but it was, I mean, it gave us hope. It was, I mean, I wasn't expecting that kind of run. And he was absolutely sensational. He turned into the player he's becoming, had over 30 goal contributions last year. He won a Super Cup may win another one coming up against Munich so he has he has had some success here obviously and and on top of that if we sell him we could get in the region of over 100 120 million so that is a fantastic piece of business all around you can't argue with that and he's just been electric to watch I, I he's so much fun watching week in week out and I really hope he stays for one more season just so we can watch him light it up one more time taking a look at number two on the list and this was a tough one. I had, between these two players, I was uh, very much debating of who deserved it, but I'm going to go with Pierre Mekabameyang on this one. He obviously had a sensational goal return of, I think it was about 141 goals in 213 games. And for, uh, for that is, is fantastic. Aubameyang was something else. He came in almost looking like he came in as striker because what he played over in Liga, and then he went over to the wing. And then after Immobile failed miserably, he just took on that, that striker role and he was something else to watch. 
he uh, he obviously won a cup with us, Super Cup as well. He has some success there. Bought him for about 14 million, sold him for 56. So again, just another sensational piece of business, and he's just a world class striker. I mean, it, it, it was sad the way that he went out of the club, but watching him play over those years was so much fun, and and he was a sign that will always go down. And, and any Dortmund fan, I don't think, can say a bad word about him. And taking a look at number one on the list. Yes, I'm a little biased. He's my favorite player, but it has to be Marco Royce. The born and bred Dortmund boy signed after he left to go to Gladbach for about 17 million, and the rest was pretty much history. He, I mean, I know that there's not probably not going to be a resale value, so the fact, last criteria can just be checked right off because I'm hoping the last thing he'll ever play for is this. And in my opinion, playing your last ever game and retiring for Dortmund just is worth 50 million to, to me because that's that's where he wants to retire that's where i'm hoping he'll retire and he's brought so much to this this team he's been so sensational he's from the from the bottom of his, his heart he wants to be here and and he doesn't want to leave he doesn't want he didn't go earlier in the, his career when he could he's obviously won the cups with us and, and super cups as well and i'm hoping before he goes he'll get that league title and maybe a champions league push as well but he means so much to the fan base here and and just in in my list in my opinion he's number one it just can't be a debate marco royce was absolutely sensational and he will hopefully get healthy get back on the field and hopefully have a great season this upcoming season here so i know you all out there definitely don't agree with my list so let's hear yours in the comment section below let me see who i left out and now there's some good honorable mentions of Kagawa was obviously a fantastic one. Hummels doesn't count. We signed him in 2009, but he was obviously a great one. Uh, and yeah, there's there's some good, some good ones. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys uh, are new around here, obviously sub subscribe, like, comment, and we'll see you guys next time. Ooh.